Hi, I'm Brooke. If you're uh, getting started playing the electric bass, you might want to start with a C major scale. It is uh, the letters or notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. If you played it on one string, it'd be like this. That would be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. The numbers of the frets are 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 15. And fingering, you might, I'm going to try to do four fingers before I switch my hand position. Switch. So I only really did a big switch one time. Watch how I roll my hand up the neck. I did shift a little bit there, but the big shift is here. So that's something you want to do is develop that uh, flexibility and strength in your fingers. I'm not at full speed or anything. So that's on one string. It's kind of easy to see how it goes. A whole step, which is two frets, and another whole step, two frets, then a half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So we say whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step is the crazy thing they say to describe the scale. So half steps and whole steps is a thing you want to um, be really good at. So that's just on one string. You could play it way high. I think it's important to know it on the whole neck. But before you do that, I would learn it kind of in the first five frets. Something like this. That's a C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And I'm starting with my middle finger at C, at the third fret of the fifth string. So that's a three, five, the pinky. So exercise that, make sure your middle and pinky can bounce back and forth. The E, second fret, second string. Add the F, third fret, second string. There we go. So we want to get fluid with this. Next note you add is the G, fifth fret, second string, pinky. That's the A, first string, second fret, index finger. The ring finger does the uh, fourth fret on the first string, it's a B. Finally, the octave is the first string, fifth fret, C. So the octaves have a nice sound. The scale goes lower, all the way down to E. E is called the major third. That's the third note in the scale. One, two, three. That's an E, and that's an E. They're both the third. So that'd be E, F, G, A, B, C. That's I call that the low end of the scale on the bass guitar. That's as low as the instrument goes when it's tuned in standard. So you don't want to forget about the low notes. Those are really cool. In the right place, that big E could sound really good if you're in the key of C or know the F. First fret. Third fret is G. Fourth or uh, third string open A, and then second fret B, C. You can include this, A, <clears throat> excuse me, A, because it's kind of in that zone. Or open.
open. Also, the D string is in the key and the G, so you could go. On the first string, second string. And the fifth string. Don't forget your open strings. So the C major scale is really about the most ordinary scale that I can think of. So in my mind, that's a good place to start. That'd be kind of the foundation scale of music when you're going to discuss music theory or you know, we would have to agree at least what a C major scale is before we could uh, get too far into like chord formulas or talking about suspended fourths or major sevenths or minor ninth chords. If we don't understand that scale, we won't be able to uh, communicate very well because we do number the notes of the scale like this. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, octave, one, eight, one, eight is uh, octo, eight, octave. Same note, C, C, big C, little C, but they're both C's. So again, that's your one, your root, your second, your third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and the eighth. You're going to need those. So... Don't neglect that when you're practicing. And if we go lower, it's a uh, eight or one. That's a seven. That's a six. The A, the G is a five. The F is your four, and the E is a third. Third. That's a third. That's a root. Fifth. Third. Second. Root. Seventh. Six, fifth, fourth, third, second, one. You gotta know that all over the neck. Eventually you're gonna expand that scale like this. Another B flat, no good. It trains your ears to hear the difference. No. you do it there's no perfect way to do this I was just showing you kind of how I like to think about C major um, if you're playing the bass and really want to get into it learn that scale first in the lower frets you could do one string and then work your way up through the whole neck use as many fingers as you can get that pinky strong stretch out combination of index and pinky or middle and pinky or ring and pinky just work it you know like up just have fun with it all right thank you for checking out the the video today i'm using the 64p bass that was recently set up and it plays pretty nice so i'm really happy to play it today that was fun so I, I love playing the scale. I hope you do too.